Hi, this is John from Remotify, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Control Surface Studio to create scripts for controlling track navigation, scene navigation, red box navigation, and navigating through device racks with using both knobs and buttons. So at the moment, you can see that I've got the session box set up to move left and right with button presses. I have this knob set up to scroll through the device rack and I also have these two buttons set up to navigate through the device rack with button presses. So let's switch over to Control Service Studio and the first thing I'm going to do is add a track highlight navigation. So I'll add a mode. And then in this mode, I'll add a highlight navigation. And we want to navigate across the tracks. So I'll leave this set as tracks. If you wanted to navigate up and down through the scenes. You can just change that from tracks to scenes. And as we're going to be scrolling through the tracks rather than selecting a specific track number, we set this to scroll. And then I'll select my controller input, which will be button one. And then we need to change control override to custom and set control type to decrement. So what decrement will do is it will move down based on the number of steps that you select. So I'm going to set this to one, which means it'll decrease with each button press by one. then we'll duplicate that and for this one we're going to set up a button to move the track highlight to the right and we'll use button 2 and then we'll do the same thing but for control type this time we'll set it to increment and make sure steps are set to 1 so the step number is how many, in this case, how many tracks you'll move by with each button press. So I've got it set to one, which means every time I press the button, it will move across one. You can set this to whatever number you want. So if you wanted to move by four tracks at a time, you can just set that there. I'll install that into Ableton Live and reload it. The script is already set up. So now when I press the buttons, you can move left and right across the tracks. And I'll show you how you can do this with a knob. So again, select the highlight navigation, set this option to scroll, and then I'll just select knob one. You don't need to do anything else. Now we can move across the tracks and then into the return tracks and to the master. And I'll just quickly show you navigating more than one track at a time. So set both of these mappings to move four steps at a time. And now I'll add some more tracks for us to navigate through. 
and then when I hit the button we can move four tracks at a time and it's just as easy to move through the scenes so I'll show you that you can keep this set at scroll and just change the first option to scenes set this back to one step to move at a time and do the same for this one move by scenes and now we can move up and down through the scenes and it would be the same for the knob scrolling option. If you just change this to scenes, you'd be able to scroll up and down with the knob. Next I'll show you how to navigate your device rack with button presses. So I'll delete these first. And then for this we're going to use the device navigation mapping type and I'll select button 1 for navigating left through the device rack and similar to what we did before change control override to custom control type to decrement and then we're going to move by one device at a time so set steps to 1 then just duplicate that. Select button two. And then change control type to increment. So we move right and that can stay set at one step. And I'll also add navigation with the knob. So we'll use knob 1 for this and then you don't need to do anything else install that into Ableton and now we can move left and right through the device rack and also we can scroll left and right with the knob And now I want to show you how to do the same thing but with the red box or the session box as we call it in Control Surface Studio. We do al already have a tutorial video on setting up and using the session box. So you can check that out. The link will be in the description. But I'll just add it here as well for completeness. So we need to add the session box first of all. I'm going to make it two tracks by two scenes in width and height. I don't need to add any controller inputs here. We just need to display the red box. So next I need to add a session box navigation. And it's very similar to what we did before with the track highlight navigation. So we're going to navigate left and right. So leave this set at tracks. This can be scroll. And then we'll do the right button first. So button two. Control override increment and then set steps to one actually we'll set steps to two so this and then duplicate that mapping and we'll do the navigation left which will be on button one
same thing again. So what we've got now is a session box which is two tracks in width, two scenes in height. And we're going to navigate left and right by two tracks at a time. Okay, you can see that already we've got the session box showing up. So I'll just add a few more tracks. Now, so I'm moving left and right, two tracks at a time. Finally, I'll just add a scroll version with the knob. Again, nothing else needs to be done for that. So now we can move left and right with the knob. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. You can find more at our YouTube channel or on remotify.io. Thanks very much.